David Ivey, I'm with HQK. I am Steve Crawley, I'm a construction manager with Graycore Construction Company. Nancy Brown from Assemble Systems. My name is Josh Farkas and I'm CEO of Cubicle Engine. The design world has really embraced BIM. It, it's time for the construction industry really to, to take that technology and figure out the ways that they can best use it. From our perspective, we would like to see everyone on a project team accessing and using BIM. So one of the challenges today is that we have a lot of modelers using BIM, so the design team up front is using BIM, but then as the project progresses, the model is used less and less and less. So hopefully in about 10 years, BIM will be pervasive across the entire project team and permeate even into the owner's hands, into the facilities. I have the benefit of ignorance of not really being from this industry. And I think, um, I think that's a, a huge benefit in some ways. And so I think the, the, the benefits from my side are being able to leverage some of these new technologies to actually let people walk through those spaces um, versus uh, right now view them on a, on a 2D screen and have the interaction and the ability to kind of interact with that data personally on, on a client level. More interoperability, um, more intelligence, uh, an easier, more intuitive method for people to get involved and to do their work. And I'd love to see the software kind of disappear a little bit. Yes, and the technical uh, advances that I'm seeing right now are uh, much more integration between systems. So virtual, and app, virtual reality is enabled by bringing different systems, different platforms together to be able to do the visualization, right? Bringing gaming together with BIM to be able to realize something else, and the hardware, obviously. I think, you know, with things like Oculus Rift and a lot of the stuff that's coming out, even, even Google Cardboard and other things that allow you to do augmented stuff and virtual stuff, I mean, it's, it's gotta be a tool that's used in our industry. Yeah, and, and I think that near future is sooner than we can imagine. You know, I, I feel like probably within the next two to three years, this is going to go from one of those kind of weird sci-fi things to an everyday, more normal occurrence. So not only do I think virtual reality is going to revolutionize many industries, I think uh, BIM and IPD are, are the perfect industries for it to kind of take hold. You have to really show the guys in the field what tangible benefits they'll see from, from the technology before they'll start to modify their behavior. To me, it's probably like a database. Um, it's more about information, storage and management and retrieval. We have not fully realized the virtualization of the construction, the designing the construction process to the point where we can pr be predictable about schedule and cost. We still haven't reached that pinnacle. And so I think we will get to that thing, which is greater predictability over time with some of the technologies and the processes and the process enabling technologies that are occurring. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's this continued, I, I think what can happen is in any creative act, there's this gap that occurs. And the more access we have to being able to interact with things and um, explore them, I think that gap disappears. So I think where we're going is the narrowing of that gap. So if, there, there's no unclarity. People can walk through these spaces, whether it's uh, in VR or whatever the thing after that is, interact with it, understand it fully, and then builder and construction you know, team can, and client can be unified. The mission of bringing people and technology together is, is really working because we're meeting lots of different architects and different technologies that are opening our eyes to different opportunities uh, within our world right now. They're creating an environment where people can exchange ideas, exchange information, um, network, and be able to advance the industry in that way. Increase awareness and, and get people to work together and think about the same things, solve problems together, um, find issues together, all that stuff. So. I think you guys are a big part of that, and I'm glad you're doing it. We're lucky to have Bill Worlds in Chicago. I think it, it is kind of this wonderful intersection between, um, you know, a really powerful, interesting industry and technology. And so, you know, for, for me, I, I think, um, you know, Built Worlds is ability to be here at this time, at this moment, while these wonderful technologies are, are kind of happening. I think I think it's a lucky place to be. 